Hi, my name is Javier Nino Sears, and I am a junior here at Sequoia. I am here as a volunteer for the Family Center. I am making this series of videos to help out anyone who is struggling with using Canvas or in setting up their hotspot or with any other of the tools that we have to use during this time of distance learning. I know that if others had not taught me how to use these tools, I would be struggling a lot right now, feeling overwhelmed with having to continue my academic life without any of the normal resources that I have. So my heart goes out to you and I hope that these videos can help you bring a little bit of relief into your life and a little bit of control over your academic life and surroundings. So there are a couple steps in setting up your hotspot, but if you want a quick guide, you should have gotten a paper with uh, when, when you got your hotspot from Sequoia. And so this paper should have kind of a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. And I'm gonna talk you through a little bit about uh, what specific steps are, uh, what, what the specific steps are. So here is the hotspot in the bag. So go ahead and take it out of the bag because it doesn't work in the bag. And here it is, it's a little, square so it's really a useful thing because basically this takes the cell service that your phones use and other devices use and it turns it into wi-fi which your computer can use to get internet or other things that don't have that connection to cell service so this is going to be really useful for you and allow you to use the chromebook that you got from sequoia so the first step in turning it on is actually pretty simple you go to the very top the little thing that says on and off and then you slide it from off to on. You should hear a little click, and all of a sudden you will see a little message that says, welcome. So it's gonna say loading now. Um, so you're gonna wanna wait for it a little bit. Okay, now you get this logo as it shows up. I'll just keep it up here. Great, so in a second, you'll see the little code that is associated with your hotspot show up. It's not very important. Now you get to this icon, this icon that says lock and it says press the lock button to unlock the screen. So you might think that that lock button is this one at the top, but in fact, this is a touchscreen device. So what you're going to want to do is just tap on the lock symbol and you will get to this great screen here that has six different panels and what you want to do is you want to tap on the one in the top right corner that says Wi-Fi so you tap right there so after you've tapped on Wi-Fi you should see a screen that says this so it can look very complicated but I'm gonna walk you through what the different symbols mean so you can use the little bar on the right side of the screen to scroll down a little bit more. So you want to look for two boxes, one that says 5.0 GHZ and one that says 5.0 GHZ password. And I will explain what these mean in a second. So 5.0 GHZ will be the name of your network when you try and connect to it from your computer. So it is really important to remember what these two numbers are and these two codes are. So maybe take a moment to write down what your 5.0 GHZ and your 5.0 GHZ password are because this will come in handy when you set up your Chromebook in the next video. So the GHZ is just the name of the network and when you log into your Wi-Fi, you're gonna click on that network and then it will ask you to type in a password. And that is the password that is right below it. So it's pretty simple. You have the name of the network and you have the password to get into the network. And so that is all that you need to know about setting up your hotspot. The next video will be about using this new hotspot that you've created and setting it up to your computer so your computer can have Wi-Fi.